not work. The last regime, the Jubilee regime, tried it, and after the four pilot counties, they were courageous to declare that it has failed. We cannot and we must not afford to fail this time around, Honorable Speaker. And that is why a lot of work has gone to thinking through the system. And I know, Honorable Speaker, there are fears whenever there are changes. There is also people who are skeptics and will not believe that things can change and change for the better, but I want to assure Kenyans that this new social insurance fund will sort out the issue of universal health coverage, sort out the question of affordable health care, and ensure no families in Kenya, upon enactment of this bill, Honorable Speaker, and the other bills that are uh, being considered in the Senate, and I'm sure which will be transmitted here as we shall transmit these two bills to the Senate, Honorable Speaker, that upon the enactment, at least those who have been delegated to be among the destitute of our country by health bills, upon enactment, no other Kenyan family should be declared destitute on account of a family member having accessed an affordable health care that the family could not afford, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I know there has been a lot of lobbying, and it is there, Honorable Speaker, because as I said, change, whenever there is change in a system, people are fearful. People are fearful, I know including the staffers of NHIF, that with the enactment of this bill, they will lose their jobs. I want to assure our hardworking staffers at NHIF, so long as you have not engaged in corruption, so long as you are a diligent worker, you shall not lose your job. No Kenyan will lose a job on account of a bill being enacted. And the fact that you are being asked to reapply is so that the new organization gets the best out of NHIF, Honorable Speaker, and the others can be redeployed elsewhere, Honorable Speaker. To Honorable Speaker, you know, from Healthcare providers, NHIF as it is today, has been a cash cow. And I mentioned from the days of clinics and others in the Mwai Kibaki administration. To those who have attempted to loot NHIF under this administration, and I must thank the Minister for Health, C.S. Nakumicha, for the quick action she took to ensure that governance within NHIF is proper and nobody takes advantage of funds that are being contributed by Kenyans to uh, provide affordable health care, Honorable Speaker. And the cartels, Honorable Speaker, that have been managing by proxy the governance structures of NHIF today are running scared. And I know, Honorable Speaker, they are mobilizing. They are lobbying, including those who are health insurance, private health, medical health insurance providers and insurance companies in this country, Honorable Speaker. They have taken advantage of Kenyans on a matter as dire as the health care of Kenyans. It is up to us here today to put to a stop that taking advantage of Kenyans when they are most vulnerable, when they are sick, by people who are minting billions in the businesses they run. And therefore, Honorable Speaker, because I know all those cartels are listening to me, I want to announce to them, as has been said before, that Mambo ni Mangapi, to quote His Excellency the President, that the cartels who have benefited from NHIF Mambo ni Matatu. And this bill, Honorable Speaker, will sort out these cartels. And I know many of them have proposed amendments that uh, I have seen them 
shuttling them between one member to the other. I want to assure them we shall stand guard in the committee of the whole house not to protect this bill but to protect the Kenyan people who have suffered over the years. It is time we became leaders and put the interests of our people ahead of our own interests.